All right, today we are doing something just a little bit different than normal. Um, I'm just outside of Ely, Nevada at Garnet Hill Recreation Area. So supposedly you can chip away in the rocks and find garnets. So we're gonna break up some rocks and see how that goes. But while we're here, let me turn this around, see if I can zoom in. Right across the way is the Ruth Copper Mine. I don't know how good this is gonna zoom in on it. Looks like a pretty big operation. In the meantime, let's grab the bucket and some tools. And I just walked down, I heard some, when I parked, I heard some people, you know, heard uh, pounding rocks, hammering. Yeah. So I walked down there and there's a bunch of people down here hammering away. Talked to a couple of the folks. So we're gonna go down here and join the fun, see what we can find. I'll turn you around so you can see where we're going. There's a bunch of folks here. So, so since they're here, yeah, you can see where people, a bunch of these rocks have been broken up. So we're just gonna come over here and One guy I talked to said, sometimes you go down, I guess this is like the main area. Obviously you can tell a lot of people have broken up rock here, so let's walk over here, see if we can find something a little different. If nothing else, it's a beautiful afternoon for a walk. Folks have done some digging here. You know what? I think I will scratch around here a little bit. Let me find a spot. Hmm. I don't know that, you know, it, if there's signs to look for just look for rocks i don't know i think i'll start scratching a hole here
sure. I'll give this a try. See what I find. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know if this is really what I'm supposed to be looking for, but it would make sense. As I'm busting up some of these rocks, sometimes you see like, like a hole, a cavity, and this one, I mean, it's not garnet, but you can see a little bit of sparkle in there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. So I'm guessing that's the garnets are like in pockets of, of these rock of this rock. So I mean I just picked a spot and you know scraped some dirt looking for some rocks. Well, there's rocks everywhere, but breaking them up. Run some of it through my classifier. Um, but I'm guessing maybe that's what I'm supposed to be looking for. So, yeah, I'll throw that in the bucket. And, uh, if nothing else, just to kind of wash it off and uh, take a closer look at it. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep scratching away and smashing rock. Here you can see this one's a, you can see it a little bit better. It's that little pocket right there. And there's like a quartz vein running through it, but then there's that little pocket. So, oh, maybe I am catching on. All right, keep digging and smashing rock. Nothing. <laughs> now this I will definitely
I do believe that might be a garnet right there. Let me see if I'm getting that on camera. Right there. So I'll wait till I get back to camp to break that off a little easier. I can see uh, digging for garden, it's kind of like digging for gold. You find one and you kind of get excited about it. It's like, let's find it. Long lost cousins in here. Well, like a dummy, I walked away from my truck without grabbing any safety glasses or gloves so either wear sunglasses or live dangerously all right so I was talking to a uh, guy there him and his son are hammering away in the rocks and uh, he told me yeah you you can find the garnets loose they're not always in yeah, you don't have to bust the rock to get to them. And they've got, you know, a water bottle, an empty water bottle that they're putting the loose garnets in. So I guess it all depends on what kind of structure, you know, what kind of ground they're in, whether or not, you know, they're eroded out or they're still stuck in the in the rock formation. So that's pretty cool. So get this loaded up and go back to camp. And uh, at some point I'll break those down a little better. So uh, so I can really get the get the garden out out of the rock as best as I can. Okay, so here's what I ended up with from my trip down to Nevada uh, to Garnet Hill. Um, you can see that garnet right in there. And then, yeah, there's some garnets in here and like this one just has little crystal pockets. Same thing with these. So, little pockets of crystal and this one right here is probably the best one I got let's see if I can get some good light on there it's actually pretty nice and then I got a little box these all have some sort of little crystal pockets um, you know nothing extraordinary I chose not to break any of these up or cut them just because, uh, I don't know, I think it's probably a better specimen just like this, still in its host rock, still embedded in there. Now, I did use a pick and kind of cleaned some of that out. Uh, same thing with this one. That garnet is not as good as, as this one over here, but, but still, it's pretty cool kind of in that little pocket down in there. You can see some little bits and pieces. So I'll just add this to my collection of rocks. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything I mean, the most I might do is maybe, uh, maybe like take, you know, a saw and I could probably do this with a tile saw and just cut a nice base, a nice flat base. So it sits real nice, but otherwise 
I don't think I'm going to try to break any of that up. So yeah, so that was my haul. And hopefully I can get back down there again. Uh, maybe next year I'm kind of toying with the idea of putting a trip together. But we'll see.